It seems like our society is obsessed with youth. Everybody wants to stay young as long as they can. No matter how hard we try though, we can't totally stop the aging process. I wanna to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. I remember when I was first starting out in television, I noticed that my hair was starting to thin and oh, did that bother me? And they were advertising a product called Rogaine and I was spending like 30 to $40 a month, which was a lot of money at the time using this product and it never really worked for me. But there came a, a time when I realized, you know what, I'm just gonna wear my hair short and if I go bald, I go bald and I did and it, it worked out fine. But a lot of people spend more time on the outside than on the inside. Is that you? Are you worried more about how you look than how you're looking on the inside to God and to others? The Bible talks about the fact that our physical body is going to wear out. It's just a fact of life. As we age, we can't keep the body that we had when we were in our 20s and 30s. I'm 67 now and I cannot do many of the things I used to do. And no matter how hard I try to work out, it seems like something always happens. Like last week, I got sick for a few days. I laid in bed for three days and wasn't able to do anything. And whenever you get sick, you start to worry and think, oh no, is it COVID? What's going on? All these concerns. But whenever I'm sick, I try to focus on the Lord and spend time thanking him and praising him for my health and asking for his help. But I was reading in 2 Corinthians 4, near the end of the chapter, verse 16, it says, Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Isn't that something? Even though our body is wasting away, we can be strong and youthful in our spirit. And that's where it really matters. Verse 17 says, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. We definitely need to spend more time working on our spirit than we do on our physical body. And while we want to take care of ourselves, because the Bible does say that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, we want, so we want to you know, walk and eat right and exercise, but we don't need to be obsessed with it. And we need to realize that one day this body's going to give out and we're going to get a new one when we're in heaven. So my challenge today is, are you spending more time talking to the Lord, reading your Bible, than you are being spending time on your looks? <laughs> I think of all the money that's spent on beauty products and, and anti-aging supplements. And, you know, in the end, it's not going to stop it. We're all going to one day depart from this earth. That's the fact of life. Nobody gets out of here alive. I hope that encourages you today to work on the inner person and strengthen the inner person because that's what's going to stand the test of time for all eternity. God bless, and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.